wrapped in plastic Town, the projectile It's the return of the scorpion king Hey, what's up guys? This is Jaffa Party, and today I'm going to give you a quick OBS tutorial. Um, I got a message in my Twitter messages asking for an OBS tutorial, so here we go. Um, OBS stands for Open Broadcaster Software, as you may see on my desktop, um, full screen up there. Um, you get different scenes, obviously, for what you can do. If I'll just preview this, you can see all my random shit for streaming. I barely stream because the maximum thing I can probably run like consistently would be CSGO. But yeah, if you see me, yo. If you want to get like chat plugins and things like that, I will leave a link in the description, but it's mainly night dev. Um, so if you go to nightdev.com there's a bunch of like things there. You, it's basically XSplit, but like the light version. I'm surprised XSplit can get away with it, but oh well. Um, anyway, through the settings, the general encoding is uh, this. So basically, just copy my settings. It's optimum settings based on Jack Frags's video. Um, he's like the number one guy for tutorials, in my opinion. He's spot on with everything. He's up to date with everything, and he's a cool guy. So. Uh, yeah, just select your streaming service. It does like all sorts, direct to YouTube, Hitbox, tier, Twitch, and a bunch of other stuff. Obviously, your stream key goes here. Um, your preferred server. That's a lot of servers. Yeah, uh, so yeah, your preferred server goes there. <coughs> I apologize in advance, it's like 22, 23. But um, yeah. Um, just copy all these things, set up your mic here, this will be your speaker setup, or default, as default is default. Default, default, default. Um, Multi-thread is usually for multiple cores, I think. You want high priority because it will make you stream lag otherwise, I think. Um, this is based on how fast things render, I think. Or how fa how much CPU usage it makes when you stream. So mine's very fa very fast. But if you've got like an insane like i7, I've only got an i5. But if you've got like an i7, you could probably boost that up a bit. Encoder settings, I did have some. I'll probably put them in the description. Um, but they're not really needed. Browser crashes everything. I don't want to save. Go away. Okay. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I think boost your levels here. Um, make sure your voice matches like in between here or just above. Noise gate, I've not had success with. You might have success with it in the future, who knows. Um, I'd say experiment, like nothing you can really do here will change much. Like you know my defaults to revert back to in case you break something. So yeah, um, this is pretty much it. If you, if you want to know anything else, let me know. Um, Mainly I use uh, not X, but, uh, Shadow Play to record, um, but I did used to use DxTory, which was the best program there was before Shadow Play. So I recommend if you don't have an NVIDIA card to get DxTory, and someday I might do a DxTory tutorial, but as soon as I don't use it anymore, that might be unlikely. But then again, check out Jack Frags, because he did a good, well, pretty awesome DX Tori tutorial and it's pretty up to date still I think so yeah man go check out Jack Frags he's a legend and yeah that'll be it so yeah thanks for watching I apologize for all my shitty desktop icons but that was uh, OBS thanks for watching see you later Mwah.